there we go the other side of Jaco Beach where I am at the Mirador de Jaco I'm not sure I forgot what that means but it's the sights I'll call it the sightseeing of or the onlooking site of Jaco Beach or the region of Jaco in Costa Rica look at the beautiful sights Look at it. Mm. Beautiful. Alright, so we're going to go take some pictures, right? While we continue to be a tourist up in these spots, right? This is what we do. We do touristy stuff and then we're going to walk to the next spot that's apparently up in the mountains. I think I have time. I'm leaving at four. It's about to be one. But I have time to like make a hike over there. Alright? So. We gonna do that. I'm not gonna fly the drone because I would rather somebody else be with me. We got the stuff there. Oh, we got coconut too, that's what's up. And then from over here, we're just gonna keep on walking. Oh, the coconut. Now I gotta, I can't, I can't eat too much, you know? Cause I'm not at my spot, but I have to use the restroom. So we're just gonna pull up to the spot over here. Senor, todo bien? For a vida. Alright. Let's go. Ha. Ho. See, I, I really do wish I had a lot of time. Mm, look at that, man. You can grab a seat and just take a picture. Ah. The seats are hot. Like hot coal. <laughs> Ah, yes. Nate in your state. We're going to have to do a selfie, all right? We are here at Hako Beach. Nate in your state. But we're going to do, we're going to set this down and take a proper picture, okay? Then we're going to go to the next location, which I think I can walk to it, man. I'm not a, I'm not hard pressed to not walk to these places, man. Like, look, man, I'm, Nate, man, I find my way around, man. I was even considering doing the um, the migrant caravan. Well, at least not all of it, you know, pay a coyote and all that, but at least do a trail. If I'm fit enough to do that type of a challenge, but yeah, man, basically what I'm trying to say is I don't mind being in a random place. In Costa Rica, I feel relatively safe. Not going to be crazy about it, but I feel relatively safe. See, those guys are walking, they're walking to the next spot. Look how deep they are. So I'm going to walk it too, All right after I take this picture. I will say, at the moment, get past the Hako sign. Yo, flying the drone will be dope. Sheesh. Anywho, at the moment, the locals say, if you see that big darkness over there, the dark cloudiness, it's raining. So they was like, whoa, when we at this region where I'm at, they said, oh, it's dry, but over there it's raining. As you guys can see, right? You can see the rain. But we are going to keep on moving. We are going to go to Mito's, right? There's a there's a uh, tourist attraction over there I'm going to check out for my first time. And you guys can see it for yourself too. It's like some old abandoned graffiti. Some old abandoned graffiti zone. Mm, talking fluid. For those who don't watch my live, I have something I call talking fluid, and that is this, water. So, for those who know, I don't know too much of the history, but I think what it is is that uh, it's like an old spot or whatever have you that's been turned into a tourist attraction where there's a lot of graffiti and stuff. So I'm on my way over there, take some pictures and all of that touristy stuff that touristy people do. Oh, we got it rocking, all right? An eight minute walk to the El Mito from the Mirador de Jaco sign, the Jaco Beach sign, the Jaco region sign, excuse me, because that's Jaco Beach. This area is Jaco. So yeah, from eight minutes from here, we can head up the El Miro, which I was explaining to you guys earlier. I don't have much of the history, and I would really appreciate if I get schooled by the Costa Ricans watching this video, right? Thank you very much, the Costa Ricanses watching this video. 
So thank you very much. If you haven't done so already, please like and please subscribe. Share this video if you find value out of it. So that way, Nate and your state can stay on the map in a new state, new region, new thingamajig with his talking fluid. <laughs> talking fluid is always going to be with me and I'm in these hot areas. Uh, as I said earlier, weather currently in between overcast, cloudy. Uh oh. It is about 1 15 p.m., looking at like 88 degrees. And yeah, let's get this day going. Guys, I kid you not, walking this path reminds me of walking in Jamaica. The truck scared the mess out of me, but I'm gonna make sure I'm out their way. Yeah, yeah, with the, with the banana, with the banana leaves and like seeing these mountains and these roads, really remind me of Jamaica, son. Whoever lives there, they got a good property, man. Overlooking the beach and all of that, sheesh. Nice. All right, so I'm about to go climb up this mirador. Well, climb up this trail to go to the El Miro. And hopefully we can get some shows, some good views. Okay. Right, so I think I found the trail. There is surveillance camera in the area. Um, well, older adults and kids and animals or something like that. But it is a walking trail, guys. Look, just look at the slope. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I'm relatively prepped for a hike today, but we'll go nevertheless, since I'm already in the area, I'm just gonna have to take my time. It is very jungle-esque over here. <sighs> and I have been walking for a while. And it's hot and I'm wearing a hat. So I have a whole lot of excuses. But away we go. Guys, if you can see, it is very tropical here. Very jungle-like. I've seen a lot of lizards. And then the big fat ones, yes, the iguanas, be trailing by and by. If I can catch another iguana, I will show you that. Until then, you may just have to take my word for it. Now, are there monkeys here? In Costa Rica, yes. But in this area, I have no idea. Since I have yet to greet one of them. Mosquitoes, I have seen some. Do I have spray? No. So, hey, it's a walking trail. We are going to enjoy it for what it is. And yeah, have a good time. Buena vida. It's a good day. Pura vida. I'm glad I learned that word. All right. Okay, let's get up there, man. Cause man, your boy Nate ain't in shape. Not like how I was in Cali, Colombia. In Colombia, your boy was struggling but made it by. Now I just need to get my game up in terms of my health. Whoa, what do we have here? Well, we're not going to explore that end because I don't want to fall. Yet, guys, once again, I feel safe. Villa Mariposa. So that says Butterfly Village or Butterfly Villa. So, yeah, we are almost there, I assume. The sights are good, the views are good. Don't rob people, don't rob the surveillance cameras. Be nice. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Awesome, ain't it? We love vistas like this. Hmm. We high up, though. Yeah. All right. Doctor Miro. Miraro. Miro. Cool. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching me on this trail. What? 
are we going to encounter while on this trail? Stay tuned to find out. Stinks though. At least this area does. Hmm, nice. Okay. Well, I'm going to put this up because my hands are full. Let me get to you guys a little later as I find it. They're up there. I told you I got you guys. I thought this was quite unusual looking at the walls. How you have the indigenous tree here uh, carved into the rocks in Costa Rica. As we know that, I'm not sure which tribe this was, but they were here in Costa Rica before it got colonized. And I don't know the whole meaning of this wall. I just know it's an uh, interesting site and uh, not safe for work. <laughs> and it's a very interesting storytelling that we have here on the walls leading up to the top. I just think it's pretty awesome. And I'm not sure what story I want to tell, but I'm, no, uh, but I'm sure locals and historians that are watching this video will be able to inform me um, based off the history of these rocks, um, the carvings on the rock. So the monkeys are here. I kind of lied to you guys, but they are actually here. You see them? Look, right there, chilling. That is cool. First encounter with a monkey in Central America, yet along Costa Rica. I think it's cool. Nice. Oh my gosh, I finally made it. Is this it? I think so. No, I don't think so. The opposite end should be, yo, the view. Well, this is part of it. They said the top of the top, I'll have to keep going, right? Sheesh. I didn't make it, but I made it to a rest stop nevertheless. I like it. It's a long trail, but um, I would have to say the views are good or worth it. Psalms 19 versus one i'm not that well versed so i'd have to look that up but i do know john 3 verse 16. okay nice with the nice colorful art in the other end of the wall i like it as we are almost there i'm gonna ask am i nearby oh we got cameras and stuff to make sure people ain't doing nothing bad after a long trip and a long voyage, we finally, or I finally, or the crew that's here, finally made it to the area where a lot of people, this abandoned mansion, that's what I remember. Abandoned mansion that happens to turn into a touristy site. No, it's all good, amigo. Good night. It's cold, bro. Frio. Yes, I have cold water. Good night. Good night, Oh, no, no, no coco, no hato, no coco, no hato, no coco, no hato. Yeah, so I finally made it here, guys. Definitely a beautiful sight. Uh, am I going to fly the drone? Who knows? There's a lot of trees here. But yeah, definitely. A beautiful sight once you get around all of this, this abandoned mansion. So I remember from somebody on the video, but in terms of everything else, not quite too sure. But yeah, we are, apparently is here. Nice. With a very high altitude, yeah. Huh. 
Someone spray painted sun nude. Interesting. Such a beautiful view. Let's go downstairs and see the rest of what was, I believe, this mansion. And see what else we can see downstairs. Okay. No cocoa, no hako. So you need coconut and hako. It's a nice little pura vida area. You can take the pictures. I believe this was a bathroom. Or looks like a yeah. Looks like it was in the process of becoming one. More good views. Oh, this breeze is much better. With the monkeys, which leads to outside. And there's another section downstairs, yeah. No coco, no hako. And I kind of like how they have that. I thought that's real. Yeah, guys. Let me know what you think. Oh, they are taking the risk, taking a the picture there. Photo is a photo. <laughs> I am not as brave as they are. So, let's continue exploring downstairs. I think I have to take the stairs. Should take all the pictures. I think that was like another bathroom, maybe, more or less. Where's the Pat Man in here? It smells like, yeah, see this used to be a uh, toilet tree. They removed it. And, uh, okay. Vida Pura Vida, Medellin, Colombia. Wow, wow, you know. And we got um, Rick and Morty, Morty actually, Rick, I mean, Plankton. I'm not going in there because it has a very interesting odor. But you guys get to see as I'm going one level down more. No cocoa, no. Juan, 316 states. Wow, it is dark up in this piece. Oh, turn on the flashlight. All right. Gotta be careful. We gotta make sure I don't touch almost everything. All right. Uh, our, whoa! Caught me going car. Is that a bat? Oh, there's bats up in there. How do you say bats in Espanol. That caught me off guard. Nice. There's bats. Oh, wow. Bats. I'll leave them alone. How do I say bats? Okay. There's more areas that you can see. Okay. Butterflies. Bro, you are really at the edge, bro, if you're really playing with this. You know what I'm saying? I can smell. It smells kind of bad. I can jump down. Okay. But it's relatively safe. <laughs> but, uh, dang, bro, these people use the bathroom here? I don't like it. The odor is bad. The sights are good, though. Does there, is there, yeah, if you see that in the corner, there's more bats. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure what type of bats are those, but I do not want my blood. Take it. All right, guys. This was a cool treat with bats.
Well, let's see if we can get out of here. Is there more bats in there? This is cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna hit you guys when I'm back in the central. I'm gonna hit you guys back up when I'm down at El Centro. A little exhausted. Been doing all of this walking, been taking all these pictures. So, let me know in the comment section what you guys wanna see more. Nate, in your state.